Welcome to another stock trade analysis. Today is June 27, 2021. I am uh, preparing my uh, trade scenario for Tesla for tomorrow, Monday, June 28. So first I'm uh, looking at this weekly chart here and I'm going to draw a couple of trend lines and see where are some of the breakout level. So that one is a little bit away. And here we got one here that is actually broken out last week. So uh, let me go and also put in some zone. All right, so we have this uh, recent support zone that seems to be bounced off. And also a little bit of a resistance zone that it just uh, broke out right here. Let's go drill down to the uh, daily. As you can see on the daily chart, we saw this breakout came up, put a little bit of a uh, you know spinning top, uh, shooting star type of candle. And we got an inside ball last Friday. So there's a couple scenario. First, let me map out this high volume area that it could uh, balance off from, and then uh, you know the uh, it could. Uh, you know, essentially, it could come up or it could come down from this balance area. So what I'm basically looking for is a couple scenario, And let's go and drill down. Because I have no bias on either uh, direction. If the, um, for example, let's say Tesla come up on uh, Monday tomorrow. Come up here and uh, test this high value area, but unable to break above this uh, this balance zone that I'm uh, looking at. Okay, then let's say come up to uh, this point of control here, this composite point of control, and get rejected. Then it come down and uh, possibly fill this gap, and then come try to come back up. Then what I will do is I will look for a potential short position right here. Okay, so I'm going to go short on this uh, back test of this uh, balance area. Okay, now the other thing is, uh, well, that could be uh, later on, either or the uh, next day or later on the week, is to possibly uh, play this bounce off of this, uh, you know, support here, okay, and come back up. But right now, I'm basically just focusing on this uh, potential short, you know, on this pivot come down and this is where I will be uh, looking for potential short uh, setup to play down at this level here, somewhere around 6.30, okay. So looking for a short somewhere around 6.70, right. So that's the downside scenario. And for the upside scenario is essentially if it uh, come down you know, let's say it come down. Well, let, let me uh, clear these line out. Okay, so a couple upside scenario that I'd be watching. One is it come down and fill this gap. Okay. So if we come down, fill this gap and get a bounce back up, right? And then come up to this point of control. And then we get another bounce up, right? This is where I will be uh, looking for a long swing up, right? Or the other scenario is that it just come up, push up and come up to this high volume node and get pushed back a little bit and come back into this balance area and then it breaks above this balance area. So this would be the second location that I'll be uh, watching for potential long and essentially we'll play it up to this high volume node somewhere around 740. Okay. And uh, might, uh, depending how it looks, might even have a trailer or a runner to come up to this 760, 770 up at this particular trend line here, All right? So those are the scenarios that I'd be watching for Tesla for tomorrow. And as you can see, here's the volume profile. We saw Friday, the point of control has uh, shifted down. 
and also there's an overlap value area. The uh, value area is actually overlapping downward. So that's why I'm looking at this zone here, this little consolidation here, right, for a little bit of a potential support. And uh, if that doesn't hold, right, we're basically looking for this thing to come down to this 624 area. All right, so that is what I'd be watching for Tesla for tomorrow, uh, potential uh, trade. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up to help me promote and share this video. Thank you for watching and stay safe.